I'm guessing most of you watching this will never have improvised for a silent film. I've been a professional organist for 12 years before I first improvised for one, and now I've done over 80. So how is improvising for a film different to the church improvisation that most of us are used to? Well, firstly, there's the question of stamina. Improvising for a long church procession or even filling in for a very late bridal party doesn't really compare with an hour and a half to two hours of solid improvisation for a film. There's also much more need to play passages of fast or energetic music and be able to sustain them. There's also a good opportunity to use different stops and registrations which we might not use in ordinary repertoire playing. The question of structure is something organists sometimes struggle with a bit in improvisation, and you might think that playing for a film, you don't need to worry about those so much since the film provides the structure for you. But actually, there are the same decisions to be made playing for a film as we have to in playing for repertoire. How much do we dwell on details, scenes, individual points at the expense of the overall structure? Or in the film, how do we help build an overall sense of dramatic tension without being too distracted by details along the way? These are quite interesting considerations and something that we all have to think about. I'm going to illustrate this with two examples from an improvisation I did for Hitchcock's last silent film, Blackmail, which he made in 1929. This was right at the end of the silent era, and he made this film in a sound version as well, using the new technology. The sound version isn't quite as good because the use of the new technology meant he had to make a lot of compromises with camera shots and uh, angles, things like that. So most critics think the silent version is the better one. In the first scene, we see Alice with a fiancé in a cafe. They're obviously at that stage in their relationship where they're starting to find each other a bit irritating. But we also see that she's got an appointment with a possibly more interesting man. Unfortunately, the more interesting man who we see at the end of the scene is going to end the evening by assaulting Alice and she's going to murder him in self-defence. But of course the audience doesn't know that. We can't really give it away, but we can allow some tension to creep into the music that's more than purely romantic. The second scene comes from right at the end of the film. Here we see Hitchcock's love of landmark and place uh, that continued through his career, if you think of films like North by Northwest. This, though, is a real London film. There are some fantastic shots earlier on, and here we see the British Museum used as a location for the final dramatic chase. You'll notice some cutaway shots to Alice uh, looking rather pensive, but we don't really illustrate these each time the camera cuts away, partly because it would be quite difficult to do, but also because it would really interrupt the rising tension uh, of the main sequence of events.
thinking of trying this for yourself, here are some suggestions. Firstly, most of your preparation time should be spent watching the film, not really planning the music. You should try to watch the film through two or three times in complete silence, which is actually more difficult than it sounds because it can be quite a flat and boring experience, which really brings home to you how much film depends on music to bring it to life. Then you might like to think of a strong opening sequence for the opening titles, because most silent films have long opening sequences as there are no credits at the end of the film. You might also like to think of main themes for particular characters or dramatic situations, particularly at pivotal moments in the drama. And then you've got a scaffolding on which to hang the rest of the improvisation. So that's a very brief introduction to what's really a fascinating and really fulfilling subject. And I hope some of you are inspired to explore it a bit further. <laughs>